Hello, this is Mr. Masonette, and in this math tutorial, we are going to practice writing an algebraic expression given a word problem. In this word problem, it says that Maggie has three quarters, Elizabeth has five quarters, and Johnny has seven quarters. If Q represents 25 cents, which of the following expressions represents the amount of money they have altogether? Well, the first thing we want to do is see what the given variable in the problem represents. And it says that Q is equal to 25 cents. And we have to figure out what is an expression that represents the amount of money that all three people mentioned in the problem have altogether. So one thing we can do is understand that this letter Q represents one quarter. So if I were to stick a number two in front of this Q, that would be basically having two quarters or doubling 25 cents. So I could write two times 25 cents. So whatever coefficient I stick in front of the variable Q would give me a total amount. Now in the problem, it says that Maggie has three quarters. So that's basically three times 25 cents or three Q. It says that Elizabeth has five quarters, which would be five times Q. And Johnny has seven quarters, which is seven times Q. And to see how much they have all together, we can simply combine these together because they are like terms. 3q plus 5q plus 7q is a total of 15q. So we would say that the total amount of money that they have all together would be 15q. And this is the expression that would represent that situation. Notice that the problem is asking us for an expression that represents the amount that they have all together. They didn't actually ask you to solve to figure out how much they have altogether, although you could multiply 15 by 25 cents. So the choice that should be picked in this situation is choice A.